Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video guide for Arc Genesis Part 2. In this video, folks, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about traveling between biomes. There are a total of four biomes in Arc Genesis Part part two however uh they can be a bit tricky to find so in this video folks i'm going to show you all of the ways that you can travel between the biomes i am here at the first entrance and you can see my location on the map you can see that between the two different maps right here uh, we have like a little border right in the center of the book and we have like these white four lines those are kind of like tubes that you can travel through here are the coordinates for the very first one and a close-up look at where this is now this is the one that isn't uh, the most straightforward uh, so two of these um entrances out of the eight entrances if we class the tubes from uh or tunnels from either side so we'll class them as eight entrances two of them can be a bit tricky to find uh, one is behind a waterfall you'll see later on and this one is not as straightforward it's not like in a straight line so we just go through this it might be a bit laggy at times and it's not my game it's just because i am in admin commands in admin mode and so what happens is i'm actually flying quite fast faster than the game can actually render in certain things now when you do travel between the space um of the two biomes there is basically so the biomes are basically like rings think of it that way uh as you exit and i'll show you the other biome so you saw me go from one tube to another basically and it brought me over here uh, i'm not even sure what to call them to be honest so correct me if i am calling them the wrong things this is the exit into rockwell's part of the biome so the one that we were in before was the uncorrupted one this is now the corrupted one we can see tentacles this is where we'll find the uh, interesting creatures like the shadow main and uh, all the other wonderful things that uh, this place has to hide of course in this biome is also the entrance into rockwell's lair we'll show you that later on so if we fly towards the center of this biome there's like a little uh thing right there this um section that is right in the center of both biomes here we find another entrance so this one's actually quite straightforward it's in a straight line easy to do so here are the coordinates on the gps and my position on the map this is literally a straight line so straightforward to find but right around this corner is the second entrance i might as well combine them because they're kind of close to each other this one's a bit more hidden there's a lot more foliage covering it but it's still here so again coordinates for this particular entrance and location on the map so we'll just go through this one i'm not going to go through both of them because they're literally parallel and you will see right here the section that i'm going through where it's lagging like hell this is the center uh, or the space the gap between the two rings of the ship this is also a biome uh, it's more like a space biome from genesis part one minus the radiation and all the other uh, not so wonderful things here we'll find the void rims uh worms uh so the void worms and of course the astrodelphus so here is the exit or entrance whatever you want to call it again we're going to go through the gps coordinates position on the map same thing on the other end if we go around this corner we can get there now i'm going to show you something right here there's like a little bridge so it makes life that much easier if we follow this bridge then turn to the right we come to the other entrance or exit whatever you want to call this and uh here we go we have the coordinates for this one and the location on the map as well so that's that for this now we're going to go to the last one to get us through the biome or through to the other side onto rockwell's domain so we're going to go towards the end of it and let's see if i can find it let me just bring up the map okay it is a bit difficult to do this when 
the game gets a bit choppy, but I do understand why it's doing it. There's a lot of things to load in. So here it is. This is quite straightforward. We go through it uh, and we end up on the other side. So here we go again. We have the GPS coordinates for this one. And then we have my position on the map. This again is a fairly straight entrance um, on this end. <laughs> on the other end, it can be a bit tricky to find, but I'll show you exactly what I mean once things load in. Uh, there's going to be a lot of popping in just because of how quickly we are flying. I think that's what the problem is. This is why we're getting all this lag. All right. I'm trying to take it in little steps. The moment you go between the... Oh, dear. Uh, between the rings, uh, in the space between the rings... Uh, the momentum does carry on, so it can be a bit tricky to control my landing. But you'll see that when you do play the game. So we're now coming out onto Rockwell's biome. Now you can see it's starting to look like a bit of a mess here. We got loads of tentacles. Uh, looks like a cave sort of thing. So we'll see. I'll show you what it looks like on the exit. We can see the waterfall. So this is what is actually camouflaging the entrance from Rockwell's biome. So difficult to tell that there is actually an entrance there. So I'm going to show you again where I am situated on the map. And I'll give you the coordinates as well with the GPS. So this is the GPS coordinates. And here is my position on the map. Now, this isn't the only way to travel between biomes. There is another way to do this. So for this, I'm going to have to fly. And if we look at this wall all the way across, we're going to see some little holes quite high up in the pillars. You can see that right there. And it goes all the way across the center. We'll find that on the other end as well. But this is what I'm on about. Now, this is probably a structure that we can build in. I'm not quite sure, but uh, obviously I'm not going to build here because it's kind of limited in terms of space. But let's go through it and I'll show you what happens. There's quite a few of them, so don't worry about it. It's actually quite easy to find. So we got this little force field here. If we go through it. Oh, oh right. What the crew called the rock tumbler. Okay, so this is the mining ring. So this is what this biome's called. And uh, as you can see, it's basically the equivalent of space minus the radiation. And if we go straight, we can see the next little door. They are kind of highlighted with the red light in all four corners. And you can see them from quite a distance. We're going to have to apply fly again just to get that going. Same thing on this end. So if we turn around... We can see all those little squares in the pillars that basically allow us to go into the mining ring. There we go. We can see them in a the line. Now, of course, these are three biomes. I don't know if I said at the beginning of the video, but there are a total of four biomes. And uh, there is the one that leads into, I suppose, Rockwell's inner domain. I'm not sure what to call it, but that is where we will find the flying eyes and all of the mutations and creatures that Rockwell has been messing with. So I'm going to show you how to get to that location as well. And I will also show you how to get to the uh, console that will summon the Rockwell boss fight. Of course, for that, you will need to do some events, much like in Genesis Part 1. You will have to gather some mutagen, um, all, or each variation of the Rockwell fight will, of course, require a different amount of mutagen. So, again, I just wanted to show off this ring. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the way they've designed it. I did initially like the space aspect of Genesis Part 1. The only thing I didn't like was the way we traveled between biomes. This is a lot better, a lot more fun, a lot more interesting. So here we are in the second part. I just wanted to kind of show these off because they're kind of cool. And I personally like to spend a couple of minutes kind of admiring what the developers have worked on. This is simply quite nice. 
All right, so I'm going to show you how to get to Rockwell's biome from the starting point just to make it easy. I will, of course, also show you the map coordinates. I will show you the GPS coordinates uh, for the entrance as well as for the platform where we can initiate the final battle with Rockwell. And by the sounds of things, this is quite literally the final battle with Rockwell. Of course, Speaking from a personal perspective, I kind of hope it isn't secretly. I hope that he somehow finds a way to um, port over to Arc 2, if that's what it's going to be called. Personally speaking, this is by far the best version, the best DLC that Studio Wildcard has ever made. I uh, am enjoying the dialogues between creatures, the storytelling, and all that sort of stuff, so I want to see more of this. Now, this is the entrance into Rockwell's biome. It is quite literally in the center um, equator part of the map. Sorry about the freeze, this is what happens. I'm going to show you the GPS coordinates for this and the map location as well. But this is like a little entrance into an aberration-like type of environment. I'm going to show you what it looks like from the outside. We have this um, almost like a bridge to me. That's what it looks like. Uh, it's that type of structure. So right underneath it, we find the entrance. And here is my location on the map and the GPS coordinates as well. So you can see exactly where I'm at. Now, let's go down here. Underneath it, in this corridor, we're going to get another lag, uh, typical of when we enter caves. So be prepared for it. It's going to be very derpy because we are traveling at very high speeds with the admin commands. And... Uh, this is what was on about. So expect this. Okay, things are loaded in. That's good. Making sure it's all working properly. And we just follow this corridor down this way. And then we find ourselves into Rockwell's lair. So very aberration-y in terms of aberration-esque. I don't even know what these words. Anyways, I made them up. Uh, but yeah, very. Re it reminds me very similar, very reminiscent of Aberration, but yet still maintains its unique appeal. It's different. It's not a copy, and I like that. Great. Now giant eyeballs are flying around attached to mate flowers. Really makes you feel unwelcome here, yeah? Although, maybe that's the idea. Maybe these are just part of some macroscopic immune system. So this is what I was on about. I do like the dialogues. I do like the backwards and forwards dialogues between uh, HLNA and Rockwell. And here we get another one. All this stuff. It's not just climbing the walls in here. It looks like it's growing out of them. There are places where the metal just starts becoming meat. Techno-organic interfacing. Solid matter being rearranged at a molecular level. We need to stop this corruption here before it takes over the rest of the ship. Be honest, be honest now. Have I, have I overindulged here? I can't be objective. What eludes me about this creation business is knowing when I've gone too far. Yeah, so getting to this point, the heart uh, or underneath the heart is the platform, and you just stick to the left side of the wall once you are in this particular biome. Uh, don't worry, I will show you the location of this platform in a couple of seconds. So here we are with the location of Rockwell's platform where we start the final battle scene with Rockwell, and in my opinion, by far the best of all of them the storytelling through dialogues and monologues is brilliant this is what i want to see more of in arc so yeah we have the console here that we will interact with when we have all that we need to summon and of course you'll have to do all of the little tests just like in genesis part one 
Now, with that being said and done, that is pretty much it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have found it useful and informative. If you have, please don't forget to support me in the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel? Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethopia Discord. Links, as of course, you can find down below in the video's description. And until next time, stay safe, folks.